everyone. My name is Tony Huang. I'm the founder of TechExex here in Houston. TechExex Network's IT Leadership Roundtable. Here's March 14, 2013. This event is underwritten by CSS Corp and also other sponsors. We're not able to make it to today's event. We actually broadcast and also recorded today's event. It's now online and we'll share the link on this website. And uh, let's go grab a couple people for a quick soundbite. is Richard Longview. He is with Telecom 611 and also our featured speaker this morning in Houston Tech Execs IT Leadership Forum and Roundtable this month. How are you, Richard? I'm very good. For those people that are able to make it, what did you share with everyone today? Well, what we really tried to focus on was in telecommunications that it's a, it's a, negotiating with carriers is very much, it's a game. And there are different things to watch out for. We covered a number of the, kind of the myths out there that some people feel. Uh, in telecommunications contracts about, you know, the bigger deal gets the best deal, and so on. Uh, and then we looked at, you know, a few of the different gotchas that we've seen, some of them for 15, 20 years, some of them as recently as last month, of different things that carriers put into contracts that you really need to be aware of so you don't get burned. So it was interesting for you, uh, you mentioned that you actually represent the industry side, right? You don't actually represent carriers. What do, so what do you do uh, at your company? Uh, well, we're strictly a consulting firm. Um, I mean, we started out with agents, as agents, years ago, in basically in the early 90s, but in 1995, uh, had an opportunity to go work for a government client, and we couldn't have any conflicts of interest. So uh, I actually wrote a code of ethics for the company, and since that time, we strictly work for end-user companies and government entities. So we don't, we're not an agent for anyone, we're not, we don't get referral fees, we strictly work for and get paid by our clients. So for those uh, not able to make it today, are there two, three key points that you can share? Um, I think a couple of points would be, one is, is read all the fine print. Um, if, if you don't have time to do it, hire someone that can, but read the fine print. And the other thing is, um, in the new world of SIP and cloud services, uh, is, is to do competitive bidding. You know, because the days of standard pricing are just no longer a, a you know, a real world. You need to basically be able to bid out today with the current carriers and, and see what the best deal you can get. Thank you so much for being a great speaker this morning. We really appreciate it. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. With me is Debbie War. She's the chapter president for TechExex Houston. How are you, Debbie? I'm great. Thank you. How are you? Very good. So what do you think about the event this morning? It's a smaller turnout, but it was a great event. I think it was. I thought I thought it was really I was so pleased with the event turnout because it is here in Houston it's spring break in every single school district which I truly didn't expect us to have a full house but we did we had a full house and it was really uh, entertaining and educational uh, as a director of IT did you learn something today yes um, as I said to our wonderful speaker um, I loved his presentation and he I basically came away with a to-do list and a to checklist <laughs> so it's you always think that you're on your game or you want to be on your game, but um, I am not in a few areas. So it's a little disconcerting, but that's exactly why I, these are excellent events to attend because in order to keep your, your skills sharp and know where you need to be. Stay polished. Stay polished. <laughs> so f uh, today's event was a little bit different. Today was more like a workshop on how to deal with telecom uh, carriers and how to negotiate and looking at bills and, and such. Um, what's going to be different next next roundtable? The next roundtable, we have uh, Randy Lackner with uh, CIO Oil State, and um, he is, uh, it's going to be more directed at a peer level, CIO to CIO uh, practitioner type of uh, situation for that round table. Randy um, is, has not given us his topic yet, but he's a very diverse, uh, educated man, and I'm positive that his event will also be very well attended. Okay, well, thank you so much for doing a great job here at TechExex as the chapter president for Houston, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. It, it, it's, it's exciting, and I'm happy to be here and learn and grow with the entire network. Um, one of the things that you said today, which my peer in Dallas mentioned, uh, Tech Execs Network is about us, the membership. 
So if we don't have members, um, we don't have tech execs. So we don't have a network. We don't have a network. Yeah. That's right. So it's really important and and um, good that all of our membership be engaged. And my goal for this year for all of us is is that all of us as IT leaders take the time to invest in ourselves to do the roundtables, to do the socials, because none of us do it the way we should. We don't make it a priority. So not only network when you're out of work, you network the whole time. Exactly. It not it building your network is about making those connections and, and making the connections serve you in your practitioner role as and then if you a day comes and you are out of work and looking for something different, you now have a firm foundation of resources that you can call upon. I think that's invaluable and so it's, it's worth the time that you need to take to, to be here to do this. So it's not also because you're looking for a job, because you're building yourself. Exactly. I'm not looking for a job. I've, thank God, I've had a great job for 13 years. But you don't, you never know what the future hold, holds, but it's always important. In, in technology, our field is ever-changing, ever-evolving. And our roles as leaders are to be innovative and a, a thought leader and help drive direction for strategy and, and business growth and evolution. You cannot do that if you do not do something like this because you're in a bubble. So learning from other peers. Exactly. Learn from your peers. So thank you so much again, and um, we're looking for more from you. Thank you. See you in two weeks at our Cocktails and Connections. That was a great event in today's Tech Execs Houston IT Leadership Roundtable. Again, today's March 14th, 2013. Thank you so much for one of our sponsors and really appreciate everything that you are able to do for us. If you were not able to make it to today's event, please join us online at techexecs.net. That's www.techexecs.net. See you next time. Uh -huh.